What's going on over there? Becker's here, and the cops are not happy. Becker tested an army of robots on Robocop. Can you believe that? That is so unethical to conduct an experiment without our supervision. Right. It's a new age, and you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains, no glitching, total control. So that's it? You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's Robocop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike. That's the spirit, old timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you too. Murphy, briefing room, now. First of all, I don't want to hear a word about those damn robots. We have a job to do. Now that the milk is spilled, we are looking for a mole in OCP that's been protecting Antonowski. As hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. Yeah, but he's still a prick. Sure is, but there's still a mole that we need to find. It's gotta be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. So? We start by asking the source. What are you suggesting? I pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. Hey Murphy, that news lady's in the lobby waiting to talk to you. Robo, do you have a minute? Are you here to attempt to humiliate me again? That depends entirely on you. I've been sent here to conduct an interview with you. For some reason, people value your opinion when it comes to the election. No, thank you. Roll the tape. I'm here at Metro West conducting an interview with a machine that needs no introduction. Robocop, one of the more contentious points brought up during the election, is the construction of Delta City. Many believe that Delta City will destroy old Detroit. Mayor Kuzak spoke at length about the illegal evictions that OCP has been planning in order to start the construction. Other candidates, namely John Mills, believe that Delta City is a chance to clean up the city. What are your thoughts on this subject? Is Delta City the future of old Detroit? I would focus on current Detroit. So you agree with Mills that the current day Detroit needs serious cleaning up? Thank you for clarifying your stance on this important topic. This has been Robocop for Channel 9. Samantha Ortez, signing off. We've got what we needed. Talk to you later, Robo. I saw Becker tear the rookie a new one for what he did at that factory. I 
wouldn't be surprised if he was already. Yeah. Oh, she is doing real good. She had that fire in her eyes. Still keep that metal fuck running. What a waste of electricity. I mean, he did catch you. You too, fucker. Robo, the prisoner's waiting in the visiting room. Oh, gonna have to strip search you. Belt, keys, loose change, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. Just keep walking. I don't think that was funny. Good to meet you, RoboCop. The visiting room is at the end of the corridor. Good to see you in my prison, Robo. Did the inmates at the entrance welcome you properly? I felt at home, almost. I'm glad you're here. I want to ask you about the man you're here to see. The only thing I know is that he's no ordinary prisoner. OCP are keeping his record secret. So who is he? He is a criminal awaiting his trial. But I need to know who I'm dealing with. He's a demanding individual. There used to be peace in my prison. But now they're rabid dogs. He turned all the gangs against each other. So either... OCP doesn't know who they're dealing with, or there's something fishy going on. I suspect OCP knows more than they are telling. I'm here to verify that. Ah, good. Come see me after your interview. I have a humble gift for you and your police friends for keeping my business alive. Fraternization with criminals is not embedded into my programming. No, you're selling yourself short, Alex Murphy. You didn't expect to hear that name from me, did you? I used to think that erasing the memories of your past life would help you the way it helped me. Oh, but I was wrong. And I want to make it up to you by giving you that life back. I am here to enforce the law, not to play your games. But you wouldn't mind a, a game of baseball with your son again. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. Is that why you needed all those dead bodies? I could tell you more if you promise not to stick your nose in. I want details of the project and the names of those involved. Our time is up. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty-handed. 
So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Tread carefully. It's the last chance for you and your family to be together again. We have to take the prisoner back to his cell. Looks like a full-blown riot is going down. Whatever is going on, this slime is involved. Could be, but now we have to focus on the other prisoners. They're armed and storming the warden's office. We need your help. Robo? I will turn them to the path of reform. got into the armory and are now handing out heavy weapons like fucking hot dogs at a football game.
Come to the kitchen and check yourself. We got a good supply of snitches needing to be cut. Hey, Ted, man. You working in prison now? I tell your fellow guards, they ain't getting our help no more. Robocop, I owe you. We have to stop these creeps from taking over the prison. You bet we do. Wendell has to be behind this. I need to find him. 
I knew he was up to something. His cell is in Block B, and Robocop... Give him my regards. I will give him much more than that. Call me on the radio if you need me. Sir, Block A is... Oh, that's the gift I was talking about. We started a baking class for the inmates, and I must say I've been enjoying it myself. Really shame it'll go to waste. We need to seal off this area. If you go further, you won't be able to turn back. So, do you want to proceed? I am ready to proceed. Okay then, good luck. Glad you're here, Robocop. I think I saw someone, someone from the outside. Those couldn't have been prisoners. They were armed to the teeth. Remember my promise? I've got a wife and kids, please. I promised you that one day I'd blow your head off. Warning one, checking in. We're approaching the client. Affirmative. Robocop is still at the facility. There's no threat. I I'm not fighting! Robocop. New arrivals. I saw them. They must be the ones who released the prisoners. The riots are a smokescreen for when they They're heading for his cell. I am on my way there now. I'm not an enemy!
Wendell's cell is empty. Intruders beat me to it. Robo, I'm just getting a signal that the hostiles were spotted moving towards the property store. Wendell included. I will meet them there.
scumbags want to fry me! Help! Martha! What will happen to you when I leave? I can't leave you! Help! Thank God you're here! Oh, I don't know how to thank you! Oh, Martha needs me, you know? Oh, it's such a great car, but they'd probably scrap it if I died here! You saved us both! Thank you.
what is the situation here? The guy's got a ticket for the mercy seat in a month, but he was shot, and it looks like justice will get him sooner. <laughs> That's no reason to leave me here to die! I can't take him with me, and I'm not gonna stay here. I cannot assist you. There are people who need my help more. I'll be waiting for you in hell, you heartless assholes! Enemy contact!
calories sustained? Last week I finished organizing the stuff down here with a brand new system, and today, those fuckers showed up and messed everything up! Where did they go? To the parking lot! You have to bust them! I'll be cleaning this shit up until retirement! The scum's over there, hiding behind his bodyguards. You need to smoke him out.
Can't you get it through that thick skull? You're supposed to stay away from my business if you want to get your past life back. How about we save part of that life right now? I sent some guns to the hospital to rectify my mistake and finish the job with your friend Lewis. But it was before we talked. I would have called off the hit, but I had to take care of you and your fellow guards. So, I guess it's over to you. And you better hurry! Casualties at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I need assistance. Possible hostiles in the vicinity. I'm all right, Murphy. I'm all right. Oh, thank God you're safe. We've missed you, officer. How are you feeling? A little banged up. But I've certainly been worse. That Wendell guy needs to pay for what he did. And he will. But when? How many more innocent people have to get shot before that happens? OCP doesn't have our back. We know that Wendell's working for him. You know what we should do? Don't even say it! We should go on strike. Yeah! Sergeant, how can we go out on the streets knowing that the people who hire us are working against us? Don't forget about the robots. We will discuss this further, but first, Murphy, it's time for your evaluation. I'll be catching up on what's been going on, partner. Oh my god, Lewis is back. Hey, Steph, how's my hair? like an elephant took a dump on an ostrich. Robocop, please have a seat. That's it from me. Where is Dr. Blanche? I am supposed to undergo an evaluation. Oh, right. She called. Said that she wouldn't be able to make it today. Actually, she wanted you to call her. She seemed distressed. Antonowski escapes from a high-security prison. Now that... Cops are thinking about going on strike. What happens if some dangerous criminal breaks out from the cells downstairs? Right. 
Dr. Blanche. Thank you for returning my call. I, I don't know what to do, who to trust. What seems to be the problem? My research that I was conducting on you, it's gone. All the data that I collected is missing from the precinct. If someone felt comfortable stealing my computer, they may come after me once they realize that most of my records are on paper. OCP has been adamant about me keeping all the records on my computer, but I don't trust technology and I don't trust OCP. I keep most of my records with me in my notebook. I don't know who to turn to, except you. Where are you now? Home. You are not safe there. Meet me at the Star Motel. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there. Thank you. Murphy, you're here. Let's start with what you found out at that prison. I will show you somewhere private. I think I've got the place. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty-handed. So, let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Afterlife? So someone in OCP is working with Wendell on another big project? If not Becker, then who? Sorry to disappoint you all, you ungrateful fucks. You didn't think I'd find you here, did you? Since I'm already here, entertain me. If I'm no longer your suspect, then who is? I mean, we're all thinking it, so I might as well say it. What if it's the old man? Ha! <laughs> You've got some balls to even mention something like that. Nevertheless, good luck. Even if it's true, he's untouchable. Unlike you, I've got some work to do. Final preparations before the expo. So wish me luck. Good luck. <sighs> Becker's right. We can't just go on accusing people without proof. What else is there? Seems that Wendell found himself another gang to work for him. What do we know about them? Guns for hire. He's paying a lot for their services. They're supposed to be very computer savvy. Real high-tech shit. Dr. Blanche mentioned her computer was hacked. Then I think we found ourselves a new lead. Murphy, I want you to pursue this. I will pay Dr. Blanche a visit. All right, everyone dismissed. Can't wait to go back out there, partner. You're not going anywhere. But, Sarge! I need you here. That's the end of the discussion. Murphy, Mayor Cusack wants to talk to you. He's waiting in Reed's office. You called? I did, Frankenstein. I hate to sound like a broken record, but the election is days away. The future of this city is at risk. That's why I wanted to be blunt with you. I want your support. Just tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. Is it money? Do you want me to pay you? I will remind you, Mr. Mayor, that bribing voters is illegal. But if that's what it takes, you know as well as I that we can't have OCP rule this city. I may have overheard that there are some serious accusations pointed at the old man himself. What more do you need to know to support me? I will think about it. Sure. Take your time, but not too much time. The election is in two days. We're killing ourselves to put those bastards behind bars and the next thing you know they're back on the streets. Why even bother? Don't get Nothing really changes. We're still going to be chasing after the bad guys.
Dr. Blanche? Yes. Let us hope I will not be slowed down by another cheering crowd. So, the preparations for the election are in full swing, huh? Fortunately, I am just by the hotel. Good. Keep me posted. Already grumpy? With all those colorful flags and balloons, any other cat would be in seventh heaven. You're way too early. The bachelorette party starts at eight. I am here to meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by the hour hotel. People don't usually give names. Dr. Blanche is in her 50s, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. She's staying in room 405. Thank you, citizen. So, you are the real RoboCop? Listen, if your mature lady won't be able to satisfy you, I'm sure I'll find someone younger that would be happy to help. It's you. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does anyone else know about your research? OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Did you notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? No. But after a recent hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. I will find them, and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? I am afraid that duty calls. Of course. You need to follow your protocol. Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. It's right there on the desk. I have the coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. But I haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door? Oh! Okay! She will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. Follow me.
rest for a moment. No, we should not stop. It's a dead end. We I will make a way. I don't know how you're thinking of making a way, but you better hurry. This room is getting awfully hot.
rooms upstairs. I will make a way. Follow me. Oh, wow. I've seen messes here before, but not quite like this. We've made it. Oh, thank God. But what should we do now? My partner is going to take you to someplace safe. I will find the guilty party using your computer's coordinates. I'm finally starting to understand. The shooting, the blood, seeing it firsthand, it puts everything into perspective. What I think I'm trying to say is, thank you. My duty, madam. So what now, Murphy? I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer. You will keep her safe. Safe from what exactly? Who were those guys? Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that. Officer Washington is requesting backup on St. John Street, outside the fishmongers. Multiple armed suspects sighted. Okay, Murphy. So where are you headed now? I am following the signal from the doctor's computer. That's handy. You're gonna keep me posted if you find anything, won't you? Affirmative. Murphy, out. I hate when you do that. Loose out. Arguments against voting are baseless. As residents of this city, you have an obligation. Need some rubble? No, but it might be covering something that I am looking for. It will be like searching for a needle in a haystack unless you have some kind of x-ray vision. Any joy? I need to see what is underneath. Then you'll have to wait. There'll be a truck to move it in an hour or two. It's not like you can move the whole thing anyway. You're not a finicking train, are you? <laughs> I am much more than that. You're like a freaking bulldozer. Is that what you were looking for? A manhole cover? I need to get underground. Well, not through there, you ain't. If the sewers are what you're after, then you should use the entrance behind the mark. Just under the overpass. Thank you, citizen.
another respectable citizen on their way to the sewers. Is there a party going on down there? Some of them may come back. Lewis, tracker coordinates lead me to the sewers. I am entering now. I can't hear you very well. It must be bad signal. I've taken Dr. Blanche to the safe house. Lewis, you are breaking up. Watch your step. This might get dangerous. Make sure to contact me if you back up. Stay safe.
seem to get hold of him. Lewis, can you read me? Loud and clear. Are you out of the sewers already? No, I found a signal booster. A signal booster underground? The entire OCP communication network runs down here. It looks like the mercenaries were tampering with it. I wonder what they were up to. Whatever they were planning, I am going to stop them. Don't kill me! Do not be afraid. I am a police officer. I had this nasty dream that I was a homeless guy living in the sewers. Oh, wait.
Lewis, I found the computer. What did they need it for? Retrieving and processing data for my evaluations. Where was the data going? OCP's mainframe computer. To access it, you need staff credentials, and they have been using Wendell's. You're saying that OCP has Wendell on their payroll? The old man is the one who signed his contract. That son of a bitch! I knew he was behind all this. Can you send us over that data? I am uploading it as we speak. I'll make sure Reed sees it ASAP, so we can get you a warrant for the OCP headquarters. I am heading to OCP headquarters now.
analyzing the files that you sent us. And it turns out that the data from your evaluations have been used to prepare an afterlife presentation. And get this, it's taking place right now. To put a cherry on top, the old man is in attendance. Just find where the afterlife presentation is taking place, and you'll catch the old man red-handed. That is how I prefer to catch criminals. I didn't know today's bringing I to think the I know how to solve the Just let me go. You said yourself that you didn't have Welcome time Welcome to for Omni me. Consumer Products. I know who how you may are, I help lady. you? You broke into the security room. You're up to something. A meeting Robo regarding Cop. afterlife you is taking place right now. I want to know where. Let me check. Yes, that would be the executive conference room on the top floor. The elevators are behind me. But I'm looking at the guest list and I'm not seeing your name. I will be the highlight. But you don't have the proper clearance. You won't be able to access the elevators, sir. Sir! Let me get that door for you. I saw that whole scene, the way they treated you. Not on my watch. Going up? Beautiful, isn't it? This view gives me hope. Shows what Detroit is capable of when not hindered by the city's worst. You probably know that better than anyone else. You deal with filth more than any of us. These miserable people, crammed into those tiny apartments like cockroaches. I swear I need a shower whenever I go canvassing in old Detroit. But not for much longer. I'm heading to a meeting about the Delta City relocations. So that we finally get the poor, criminal elements out of our great city. Exciting, isn't it? You and me together. We'll clean the city right up. This is a friendly reminder. A gunshot wound no longer entitles you to a day off, unless hospitalization is required. Thank you. There is no one here. What? Look around. See if we're missing something. Do not be amazed when a man grows rich, for when he dies, he takes nothing with him. Until now. Afterlife, OCP's answer to death itself. As a frontrunner in human-machine hybrids, OCP is focused on proving that death is no longer the end. With a number of successful prototypes, our team continues to work tirelessly to ensure Afterlife is more stable than any of our previous cybernetic achievements. We've come a long way since OCP's first cyborg, this is how I see myself. To now. Hi, I'm Eve, and I've died, but that's not stopping me. With the newest development in cyborg research, OCP was able to give me another chance. And now I'm back to enjoying my life, or should I say, afterlife. Because at OCP, the goal is no longer to live, but to thrive after death. And since our friends in the government are fighting for human rights for all people that were once pronounced dead, my life will return to what it was in no time. Under my legislation, Robocop and all future cyborgs will be granted human rights. They'll be able to live, vote, and run their businesses just like the rest of us. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Afterlife. Eternity. Today. Oh, sorry, I didn't know someone was here. Eve? It's actually Meg. Are you like me? So you've seen the ad, huh? Sorry, I'm not a robot. Just a commercial actress. I've been a face for a lot of stinkers, but good luck selling Afterlife. Technology that won't be available to us for the next hundred years or so, I've heard. 
Where is everyone? From what I understand, the old man canceled the meeting last minute. I don't know why no one tells me anything around here. So he is behind all of it? Who else would authorize funding of such a pretentious project? Where did they conduct the research for this project? I don't know. But I don't think it's in this building. I've noticed that there are always big cooling trucks parked in front of OCP when they're showing off new tech. So you are selling something that does not work? That's advertising for you. At least with Afterlife, we won't get many complaints from the dissatisfied customers. Because <laughs> they'd be dead, you know? What about all the money that went into research? From what I hear, OCP gave it the college try. They spent a lot of money on some prototypes, but this time they ended up with nothing. That's how it often goes with these cutting-edge projects. I imagine there were quite a lot of unsuccessful Robocops before you came along. Where is the old man? Probably in his office, at the end of the hall. But I don't think barging in unannounced is such a good idea. I disagree. Suit yourself. Uh, can someone take this robot away from... Why was he smiling when I signed it? He never... Do you think that he... You have to stop like coming now? to the office. You no longer work here. Put your hands up. You are under arrest. That's no way to talk to an acting CEO. You didn't come here to congratulate me? So, you haven't heard. It's been on every channel for the past hour. Watch some TV once in a while. Life's passing you by. As the former CEO of Omni Consumer Products passed away earlier this morning, 
We at Channel 9 are deeply saddened by this horrific tragedy. Our condolences go out to the OCP family in these dark times. In other news, why do balloons make that popping sound? About time the old man kicked the bucket. A Japanese company is already eyeing to buy us out. The way he was managing the company lately, he'd basically run it to the ground. Especially with his personal projects. Afterlife. Ah, oh, you heard about that too. How desperate. Just die gracefully, you old fuck. But don't you worry about it. As an acting CEO, I'm putting a stop to all of OCP's unnecessary expenses. And that includes all of the old man's pet projects. So say bye-bye to Afterlife, and Delta City for that matter. Wendell is still out there. The market will take care of him. With no one to finance his stunts, he'd need an army willing to mindlessly fight for him, and for free. So there's nothing for you to worry about anymore. Well, maybe about collecting unemployment, since I'm firing the entire police force and replacing them all with my robots. Those robots are unreliable. Oh, that's adorable. Especially coming from you. But you'll get to see the improvements we've made firsthand. Since I need you to come to the arms expo. Just don't be late. Now, you leave. Bitches, come! It's time to celebrate. Let's throw the old man a hell of a wake. Oh, Robo! That expo thing is a black tie event. Then again, I guess that doesn't concern you. Because of the tragedy that has struck our company, you will be informed by your superiors about the recommended ways to experience mourning. The meeting is not included as work time. Thank you. The old man is dead. Yeah, I just heard. So what do we do about afterlife? Becker is shutting it down. Not the only thing he's shutting down. I just got a call from the precinct. Everyone's been fired. So what now? What about Wendell? We wait for his move. He'll be desperate. I bet he'll try to get as many supplies as he can before his money runs out. But where will he go to do that? The Detroit Arms Expo. Shit, that's right around the corner. I could go there. No. Stay with Dr. Blanche. Becker wants me to attend the Expo. This way, I can keep an eye on unwanted guests. I hear you. I can't believe he's gone. He was so young. Such a tragedy. stage and stand on the podium. There's an old friend waiting for you there. We have to be on the lookout for Antonovsky. Do you ever just stop? We won. So smile. Okay, don't smile. Creeping me out. It's showtime. Welcome everyone to the Detroit Arms Expo where we will show you the newest, 
hottest advancements in urban warfare. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please, before we proceed, let's take a moment to honor the man who made all of this possible. So join me in a minute of silence. Now, let's start the party. OCP has always been the pioneer pushing the limits of what's been possible in security technology. Those efforts gave us RoboCop and RoboCop 2. That's right. But much like our late CEO, RoboCop is the past. We need to look at the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present OCP's newest achievement, the UEDs, Urban Enforcement Droids. A reliable solution to crime with the push of a button. UEDs will be exclusively protecting the streets of Detroit since the police left the citizens of our city to the mercy of the criminal element by going on a strike. But no need for alarm, UEDs are ready to patrol the city today. Today will be their first major test, the protection of the mayoral election rally. Now, let's open up the floor to the questions. I'm sure you're dying to hear more about my robots, yes? I have a question for RoboCop. In view of the police strike, do you think these new robots are actually capable of protecting the city? The police did not strike. We were fired. The police left because they felt threatened by the UEDs. And rightfully so. My machines are superior in every way. A presentation is in order to show that those are not just empty words. I have another question for RoboCop. It's about the candidates for mayoral elections. Who cares? It can't even vote in the damn thing. It's just an OCP product. There are a lot of people that value his opinion. Polls show that RoboCop's words and actions have influenced ratings for both candidates several times already. So, RoboCop, could you give us all a definite answer and put our minds at ease? Is Mill's promise to grant you and all future cyborgs human rights enough to earn your support? Knowing you'd possibly get your freedom back? Freedom to do what exactly? Get back with his family? Start a business? Join a bowling team? Or will you? Contrary to your creator's interest, encourage people to vote for Mayor Kuzak, OCP's loudest adversary. I support no one. That's surprising. Based on your earlier comments, many people came to the conclusion that you were siding with Mills. But I think we can take your statement as a withdrawal of support. Well, there you have it. Now we can get back to why we all gathered here. My robots! It's time to present what these bad boys are capable of, huh? I just need to find... the remote. And where did I put it? Is... is that normal? Huh? I... it's just a prototype. No need to worry. More will come. What the hell are you talking about? What was that? All of you need to leave. What is happening? I lost my remote. That's what's happening.
continue that. Did you remember? No, damn it! But there's another way. We can't control them, but we can make them stop. Take me to the Expo Depot. The entrance is through Hall C. I'll open the gate. Just clear the space. The code doesn't work. Luckily, I'm the one who sold them this garbage, so I know what to do. Just destroy the fuse box, and the gate will open. Do it! What is your plan? I give the orders and you follow them. Maybe it'll work that way for once. Okay, since I open the gate, you clear the way to Hall C. I remember differently. Your memory is glitchy.
Now to the gate. We'll reach the depot from Hall C. We must manage this mess. Those UEDs are my ticket straight to the CEO's chair. This EMP device, how does it affect me? Don't worry. Nothing will happen. To your brain, at least. And that's the part you cherish the most, anyway. You'll be fine. Pave the way to the depot and don't bother your head with that. We don't want your wiring to burn out. that disables the robots to the competition. Bye. 
Good. We're close. And don't be afraid. Even if the EMP device fries your circuits or something, is it really such a big sacrifice to stop this mess? And I'm going to make it. I figured I'd meet you here, Robocop. Seems like you two have a lot to talk about. I don't want to be in your way. Nonsense, Mr. Becker. Since I have you here, thank you for providing me with this little thing. I was looking for a loyal partner. I was hoping it would be Robocop, but your droids will have to suffice. No problem. And thank you for choosing OCP. Now that my work is done here, so I'm just gonna get... Robocop. 
Now that the old man doesn't need you, I don't need you. Keeping you alive this long was a mistake. Let me erase that mistake! Sorry, I won't be staying to witness this. I need to start packing up the toys. Take care of him. Murphy, we have to fix you. We have to erase you. It's on the table! Erase you. It's actually impressive how stubborn you are. At the same time, oh, it's heartbreaking knowing that you never could have won. Oh, your creators made sure of that. That chip? OCP implanted in your brain? The one that was supposed to help you. It served as my collateral. It made sure that you could never touch me. It's activated with this. Oh, but I'm sure you already put that together. The old man wanted me to use it sparingly, as long exposure would 
melt your brain. Oh. Now that's a visual. But since the old man's gone, I can do whatever I want. We packed everything, sir. Splendid. Duty calls. But I'm leaving you with something to remember me by. Good night, Murphy. Oh, it's been exhilarating. Now it's time to take what's mine. The city of Detroit. Night, you're leaving us again? 